Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. Eagle Island is a game that I have been waiting for for quite some time. Uh, we I was able to play it uh, demo back at let's do the core rules uh, back at a PAX East in 2008. It was a lot of fun and I'm really excited to finally get in here and play the game. Under the sapphire blue sky, Quill sets off on an adventure with his faithful owls, Koji and Iku, Ikairu. Ikairu? Together, the three companions sail among the peaceful islands of the Ordrianic Sea. When all at once, a sharp wind sweeps from the north. Aw, oh, poor little guys. I love you so scared. And blinding lightning bolts sunder the sky. That's not good. Blistering heat engulfs the boat as it bursts into flame. A monstrous grip tightens around Quill's chest. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so we've got two owls here, which is good. Uh, we got our two little friends. Let's see what we can. So we got our jump buttons going on. Okay. We are going to try to explore this as much as possible in the time that's going to be allotted to a kind of impressions video right off the bat. I got to say that the, the graphics are just amazing. The it just I love I love when games do this. You know, foreground, background, and then a background. It, it adds so much depth to the game. See, see where we can go here. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, so we can fast travel from there, but I still haven't figured out how to shoot my owls yet. I love the little uh, dandelion-like things, the little seeds floating off into the distance. Oh, did you see that? That was kind of cool. That was kind of cool and spooky at the same time. Okay, let's see. There is a little, yeah, muncher, muncher plant there. So let's, oh yeah, there we go. I saw that time for sure. What? So this game is, of course, a retro inspired game. There are several games that this is inspired from among them what would be Yoshi's Island. There's the eagle. Oh, look at that. He's, oh, he took my owl. Dude, that was really cool. His expression, Korji's expression was kind of, it was, well, kind of, it was very terrified. Uh, um, Yoshi's Island, uh, Super Mario Brothers, I think, and Banjo-Kazooie of all things. So. I'm not extremely familiar with Banjo-Kazooie, but I'm excited to get in here and see what this game's all about anyways. Dr. Oliver Ornitz. Hey, kid, that wretched eagle seized your bird as well. I am Dr. Oliver Ornitz. Just recently, the eagle snatched feathers. My own owl. Oh, man. The eagle's name is Amora. She threatens many birds on this island. Three totem birds of elemental power are hiding nearby. They hold a power beyond anything you can imagine. We need to find the totems before Amora does. She only seeks to increase her own power. Take this ancient fal falconry glove. Its powers will help you on your journey. Okay. So the glove is what gives me my throwy ability, I do believe. A falconry glove from ancient times. Press X to cast Koji off. Head west now to the glade. To the glade. I've seen Totem Zephara darting through the trees there. Let's hope you find her before Amora does. Well, I hope so too. So that's the basic uh, mechanic of the game. I can throw the owl off in a direction and he will uh, come back to me and I get to throw him again. And I have, I believe, eight directions to throw um, the owl in so I could throw him down. 
or any of the other directions. So here we go. Yeah. Ooh, what's this? Tutorial. To aim, a falconer should first hold X to call their bird, then point in the direction they wish to attack. Continue to point in the direction and release X to cast the bird off. So I could actually hold it here for a second uh, if I so choose. So I could throw him down, but I want to... Oh, that's not the right way. Oops, <laughs> that didn't help me out. I was trying to throw it straight down, but let's try this again. We'll get him a little mushroom of stinkiness. I think, oh, there's, I should do it that way. There we go. Let's look at the statue uh, there. That probably would have helped me a little bit. There you go. Um, I didn't mean to get into that again, but that's kind of neat to have those statues in the background to show you kind of what you're uh, supposed to do. Here we go. We could uh, throw him up there. Yeah, there we go. It's showing you that you you have that eight degrees really quickly, really easily in the game. You can, you know, you have those uh, background images to show you that you can throw in those, uh, that arraignment. Is that, okay, that does, okay. I was, I was wondering if that would be destroyable. Oh. oh, let's get that guy out. I can. The map there shows that I can go down. Well, I'm I'm gonna say that that's probably a hole that I can't go into. Because that's what it looks like. Right, let's run in here and see what this is all about. Greenwood Glade, first run. Okay. So this is kind of Yeah, it is a retro or a a roguelike, I believe, so that you have runs in it. Uh, you are able to... Okay. Yeah. So you are able to, you know, go several times. Um, you know, it's not... I mean, you, if you complete it, you can complete it in one turn. But uh, if you don't go through it, it's randomized. And then you get to do it again. Oh, shoot. That's not good. Ah! Right, let's see if we can hit him. And then... Yeah, I missed the uh, other little guy. So we get coins and acorns here and they are used for different things. I believe the acorns are used to open the some chests. There we go. So we got a bunch of more there. I think on like specialty chests, they are like, uh, they used to do that. So see there, I need eight, oh, I almost missed that. Eight seeds to be able to open this chest. And what I get. Okay, Ko Koji drops a healing tear when Quill's health is low. Okay, so these are another of the main items here. You get these little power-ups, the um, tokens or whatever, you know, when you just, you could uh, power up. And there's a lot of different uh, medallions that you can get uh, through the game and uh, they will power up you and your owl uh, a lot of many different ways let's see if we can get down here and get oh there we go so we need 29 to open that one hopefully we can find some more here somewhere nearby oh i missed him oh i missed him again <laughs> i can't shoot that stupid there we go have those what am i at 18 we got to go back and get that chest too because again that might be something Ooh, what does that have i have a little skull on nine on it and i see that up there below the map but i'm not sure what that means ah shoot get up get up Ooh. Right, so i meant to shoot straight down yeah there is a multiplier function in here if you get up multiple enemies before you hit the ground again you do get uh, bonus points for that or bonus uh, for that. So uh, we have to, you know, try to get those up as much as you can. Uh, sequence the enemies together like that. There we go. That should get me back up here, but I need 30. See if we can find some more. Moss seeds. Is that all the area I can go? That looks like, why can I not? I feel that I have 
not quite done something right here. Uh, the graphics in the background are just amazing. That's, I feel that I didn't... Oh, there we go. Oh, it's how many deaths we gotta do. Okay, so we have 12 deaths, or 12 kills, and then we need to get... Oh, we need to get so many to open up the gates. I, I, I can follow that. I'm following that. There we go. Oh, what is this? Okay, so I get to choose? What is... Oh, it's like a, um, a toucan or something up there. So I guess... Toucan trading. Welcome, traveler. Buy anything you like with your silver coins. Ooh, interesting. Use the launch elemental attack. Recover health points. And here's the, you know, medallions here. I have 16. I have one of those medallions, although medallions, I believe, do stack. So I would think he, that would happen. Oh, that might be a one-time use because the medallion's not up there anymore. Um, can I do recover one health point? What does this do? Use to launch elemental attacks. Not sure. Um... Play chest and warp points. That would be kind of nice. Maximum health would be nice as well. Let's go with the maximum health. There we go. Let's put that in there. And here we go. We gotta exit because we don't have any more coins. But I do want to go back and find out. Oh no, I needed 30, right? I think that's how many I needed. If I can get back up there. He does not want to go that way. Well, we'll just go this way. I can do that too. There's multiple ways to go. Here we go. 31. Let's see what's in here. Hopefully another medallion. Corgi re quick, recovers quickly after missing a target. So again, another medallion. And I can replace a medallion here as well. So um, if you find five, then you could always uh, replace one or let it go. Heading up over this way, and so yeah, if he misses, oh yeah, he comes back to me really quickly. So that is a big improvement there. Oh, get away, get away! Oh, oh run! There we go. So yeah, that does. Oh, what was that? I missed. I saw a red feather leaf up there. What did I do to get hit that to come up there? There we go. What is that? Oh, that's regular. That is my elemental attacks. And that is re regular Corgi, I think. Goat Corgi? Oh, those look, those look mean. Here we go. I was actually chain all those right together. That was pretty nice. Oh, oh no. I was trying to get. Here we go. Get those bonus points going. Let's go. I like the levels. He controls really well. Uh, Koji goes, you know, really well. Goes right to where I want him to go. Oh, gosh. Ah! Okay, let's jump. There we go. Oh, no. I'm in trouble. Ah! Oh, shoot. That was probably a bad idea. We've got to be super careful here. We are going to end up dying if we don't. Um, I get there we go. 43. I don't have anywhere close to that. Can I get? I don't think those give me any seeds, but I think they might be like damaging as well. Like I can use them to damage other enemies. I really need to find some kind of health here. Oh, I almost got that one. Is, is the death door okay? I'm a little leery about that, but let's go ahead and go. Yeah, that was a bad idea. I like these little kind of um, sections where you've got these characters, so many uh, um, enemies that you got to defeat all kind of together 
before it opens up again. That should be a, there we go, fast travel. I could fast travel. I could really use these, this health here. Um, I can add another health point. Allow more time for getting combos, that's good. Open three chests for free, that is also very good. Um, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to probably go with this one. Uh, just from the sheer point of where I am. Ah, I missed it. Oh, I got several there. Oh, I didn't. Eh, nope, didn't mean to do that. Cause me problems here. If I collect these points. Oh, missed him. I don't know if the seeds go away uh, at such a you know a certain amount of time. Will they go away or will they stay there? I do not know that yet. But let's see if we can find. Where was that chest? There it is. 45, let's see what's in here. Hopefully we can get something super compass. It's got a star on it. Okay, well, let's see what that does. Oh, wow. That's kind of neat. Let's see if we can pull up my map here. Yeah, there we go. That shows us everything. That's really nice, actually. I think what we're going to do is go back this way and go down because that might be a dead end down there. I don't like those boars. I really don't. I really don't like this guy. He's kind of, he, well, kind of. He's uh, probably one of the most difficult so far to deal with, in my opinion. Here we go. Probably give me a bunch of seeds because it does have a bird on it. I'm thinking it, well, the bird determines how many seeds that you need to open. If there's no bird on there, then it's a free chest. I'm, it's kind of what I'm getting at so far. Oh gosh. Oh, yeah, that was that was silly of me. Wait, we got one hit there. Here we go. We're back down to one hit. Hey, what do we got up here? 56. I don't I never have enough uh seeds for this. I would like to make a little bit farther in the game. I really enjoy this game. It is a lot of fun. And you should really try it out. I like the, you know, the play style of it and how um, kind of inventive it is to throw the owl out as an attack uh, is pretty neat. Um, is something up there? Not quite far enough. Oh. Here we go. Got him. Ooh, what was that? I'm not sure what that was. Oh, not quite far enough. There we go. Can I throw him down? There we go. That looks like a really special chest. What we got? Forged in times gone by, now worthless to all but one. Ancient coin. Interesting. I don't even know what that does. We got 50. I think we have enough now. Was it 56? I do believe so. I'm really impressed with the controls. It was spot on to pretty much, you know, obviously has more than what the demo originally had, but I am, the controls are just as uh, tight and well developed as it was in the demo. Um, this is a pretty nice, ah, I'm one seat off. No! Um, I'm excited. I, so I love games like this because it's just the, uh, I wouldn't quite go as far as say like the randomness, but the, the way the games are put together with multiple inspirations and then the developer adds a little bit of his own as well. It's just, it's such a neat thing to see and see how it comes along and see how it uh, ends up being, you know, how, how well the game goes. Uh oh, it looks like we lost. Ooh, so medallions are time? Looks like some of my medallions are breaking and I'm not sure why. He gave his life for hardcore gamers everywhere. Okay. Let's 
let's open this one. I feel that there's a time limit on the medallions. Now that was not the case in the original in the demo, I don't believe. Or maybe it's because I'm low on health. I don't know. Oh, he bounces off of objects. Sweet. Oh well, now that's gonna be very useful. Now is that just like yeah, that's a little that, I think that was a secret area just because of Um I knew that was there because of the the compass I had. Hmm. I'm not sure I I don't know. I'm trying to decide. I like the I'm debating on whether I like that the uh medallions break over time. I kind of get where they're going at with it, but I don't know if uh, it would be better to have them for full time. I guess it makes you uh, push for more medallions or try to find more medallions or... Oh, shoot. Come back! Come back quickly! No! no we died. Oh, I... Well, we will go back, and I do believe that will be our, yeah, see, run number two. We'll go through and see if we can do better next time. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. It's a real fun game. You really should check it out. It is Eagle Island, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.